Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here at the heart of the theater where I have discovered this horrific murder scene sent the Skull of Mocha to help Saga, even though I kind of thought she did that herself, and, uh... and unlocked uh, access to Parliament Tower. I feel like this is the part where I should mention the other thing I'm aware of. That my friend informed me of, mechanically. And that is, uh, that it was a warning. In that, uh, apparently if I go back into the theater, uh, I can just sit down and watch, uh, Nightless Night, Yotan Yo, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Except that Remedy actually went out and made themselves a short film, like 15 or 20 minutes long. So, rather than that, like, trying to fit into a video, uh, I would probably make that its own standalone video. Although I should note, since the entire thing is probably in subtitled Finnish, if I were going to make that a standalone video, I probably wouldn't be running the subtitles, like, or providing the, uh, the translations. Uh, sorry, Justin. I don't know, I just feel like... Well, one, I'm not sure I could keep that up for 15 or 20 continuous minutes, and, uh, two... Well, I mean, if it's just, you know, if it's just Yotan Yo, there could be people clicking on it who aren't even watching the playlist, and they could get all these complaints in the comments. I don't know, I don't know. Guess we'll have to see what we will have to see. I just feel like it... It feels like the same sort of thing as those live-action videos that they played in, uh... In, uh, Quantum Break. Where every once in a while the gameplay just stops dead and you watch, like, a 20-minute, uh video that's presented as an episode of the Quantum Break TV show. Oh, right. They usually have nothing in them here. I forgot about that. Sorry. Uh, yes, shout out to Yornik, who says on the subject of the version of Ilmo in this story, the crazy bastard jumping to his death is just one more proof how amazingly effective Agents Hugs and Dancer are. They're plushies, and thus can jump from any height with zero consequences. Meanwhile, Evie, being made from the finest porcelain, cannot. However, she uses a parasol to glide down elegantly and very ladylike. Because if you're a doll, you can sure be quite classy and not creepy at all. Think about that thing from last time. You know, what if Logan has the power too? Because she's also an Anderson. And uh, I find myself thinking, well, what would even happen in that scenario? Would she just remain in the house with David? Is David suddenly in a small apartment somewhere, and there's a like a family of four just very confused where Logan came from? This girl just randomly appeared in the in the kitchen. Oh. Shit! This is the room at the back of the theater. Is it still full of shadows? No. Oh, it's happening. Oh, what the hell. I actually thought it was going to be like, press A and it will fill the screen, but since they're just fucking showing it on the screen... <laughs> Barbara Jagger is the writer's widow. Ilmari Huatari as the murderer. Ati is the janitor. Thomas Zane is the writer Alan Wake. Music by Ati and the janitors. It's Alex Casey looking around. Hey. Got like a seat, 
I can sit in. Okay, no, I'll just go back over there where we had a better fucking view. Oops, missed the stairs. Okay, it's the door. Made him return. He his failed marriage, his lost fortune, and the job he had been fired from. Who's even saying this? Had driven him into the deep waters of madness. Sleep and wakefulness blended together into a delirium, filled with lustful visions of Alexei Kesa's first love, Baba Jakala. Kesa was a man. Oh, Kesa was a man possessed. It was Midsummer's Eve when Kesa drove the winding dirt road back to the landscape of his childhood. Here. She's bleeding. Yeah, I can really tell in that dark. <laughs> Midsummer sea weather forecast playing on the radio. We're just in the car. Sign said. Cut it to Jala. <laughs> he's all blurry, and now he's back in the dark. And now there's a bunch of cultists behind him. You're gonna want to run, Alex. Ah, it's a door with Ati's picture on it. That's a weirdly familiar motif. Anyone home? Ati. Ati? They say, beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. That's a line from a uh, Old Gods of Asgard song, for the record. Like a nightmare, he comes for you, draped in shadows. Oh. Many tales are told about him. You can never escape him. Suspicious of the watery uh, stage. He stares at you in the mirror. Barbara Jagger. You've only seen more Ikeb. I missed you. With Veiko and Kassa. You and Veiko were together, so I left. Random boys. He's gone. All to go. Has been for a long time now. This time when I go, come with me. But not before the morning. It's nightless night. It eats at a man. <laughs> Dancing cultists. Okay. Quick vision of a bloody body, and now we're surrounded by cultists. He is here. I poked him with my knife. Poke, poke, poke. Who are these guys? And he shat his pants. On all fours in the ditch, drunk out of his mind. Sobbing for mercy. Mercy, dear brother! Oh, no. Mercy, I'm dying! Aha, uh -huh, fucking hell. I'll leave all the knights on the back of his jacket. It's definitely Elmo. Talking about murdering Yako, I guess. Check this out. Alex. The return of the prodigal son. And his tail between his legs. 
Wilko Hakeman. Did you come to beg for forgiveness? The news of my return are premature. I just came to drop by. Now that I remember what goes on around here. I won't stay long. Where's your brother hiding? I stabbed him to death. This never-ending jabbering got on my nerves. A sacrificial offering for the master. My shit brother wasn't good for even that. You were the master's chosen one. I never could figure out why. I should kill you too for that. The knives are out. Give you a cutthroat shave, boy. For like a second there, they were overlapped with deer masks, which was creepy. Coffee! Zoom out of coffee. Starting on just black, filling the screen, which is a nice touch. Let me guess, Dan. Mm. Why did you return when you got away once? I didn't mean to. But now I find myself here. I must be cursed. I've been written into the story of a sadistic writer. Stuck in a loop. Earth is a cyclical song. How's it going at the Federal Bureau of Control? You got the wrong bureau. I don't work there. I think Matthew would know the answer to that question. Besides, I was fired. You wouldn't be in need of a janitor's assistant. No. The master of this farm vanished into the night years ago. Soon after you left. I have a sign through the air that I, too, will be out of work soon. So I'm asking you with the Bureau. Maybe I can get a job there. What? He's drinking soup with a sugar cube held between his lips. And now it's just Alex in the, in the forest, no Ati. Oh, there's Barbara. better than she did in the first game. Although I think it's 30 well, years to do that to you. A toast. Mille juomme. What are we drinking to? The, the nightless night. You came back to us. Only, if they only want you to drink, that's a bad sign. Oh. His face is all messed up. This is the ritual to lead you on. Okay, the writer's room. He returns, and you, in turn, are locked in the room. Alex Casey meets uh, Tom Zane as Alan Wig. Basically the same, but without the beard. Oh. So that Alan reached too far into the depths of the night. Why is Ati naked? Couldn't find his way back anymore. Well, he must be in the sauna. Be careful with Alan's Black Widow. You had a crush on her, didn't you? I was scared of her. 
me pojat oltiin aina vähän... Boys used to be hopeless with women. ...toivottomia naisten kanssa. <laughs> well, they're just straight up naked. They're not even wearing towels in this uh, sauna. That is the song that Ati, uh... That is a song that Ati sings that you can get on your list of, like, collected songs in Control. I think it was called the... the, so, the Sankarin Tango. Which was, uh, Finnish for, uh, fin uh... Hero's Tango. I actually pronounced it wrong there. I don't know why I said Tango. I don't think that's anything. Um... But yes, uh, the thing about the Heroes Tango was that uh, I don't think you get a translation in game because they don't like do the subtitles thing there, or not the English subtitles thing there. But when I looked up the lyrics for that song, it was straight up all about Alan. symbol hanging from there. Shirtless uh, Casey crawling through the forest. <laughs> After a rough night, clearly. Why are we zooming in with the vomit? themselves as they walk. <laughs> Cultists. body we saw in the writer's room was also Alex Gacy. This is the ritual to lead you on. He returns and you in turn are locked in the room. In the beginning there was the word. How is he not dead? He just stabbed him like 20 times. Good, someone's coming out of the well. And a pillar of light. It's Thomas Zane. Not actually sure who he's playing right now. At last. Thank you, my love. Casey's fine. And he's indoors somewhere. He's in the writing room. He returns, and you in turn are locked in the room. So I guess the idea is that uh, Finnish Alan Wake is a 
freed from the writing room and Alex Casey is locked in there forever. It's not a loop. It is a spiral. The end, maybe? Or thank you? And there's my timer! Incredible What if we stay after the credits? They're not actually playing any credits, but you know. It's not a loop, it's a spiral. That's That might be important. Because Alan's story has been looping, but a spiral is like a loop, except that it gets tighter every time, so... Alan's story is getting worse every time. That was the idea with, uh, Scratch's time loop! That it gets worse every time until you die, because you can't survive any longer. song, even if it's, you know, not in English. Listen to it a few times, uh, off-camera. That and the Wide Awake song from the, uh, first chapter of, uh, or the second chapter of Saga's story. Bravo! That was really creepy and confusing. I guess when I realized it wasn't actually going to be, like, a full-screen cutscene, I just felt differently about it, huh? I posted the uh, the Quantum Break videos I mentioned without any commentary at all, just fully separated from the uh, gameplay videos. You look that up. explanation at all behind a man who looks exactly like uh, Elmo being in there. Or the fact that he was credited under the name Ilmari Huatari, the name of that serial killer from like a hundred years ago. I just realized all the popcorn and shit is gone. This place is actually clean. forever or just close no from finish oh there's that thing that the in a poem he told us he once mistook an ocean for a lake he spent his whole life in the depths of this mystery wandering in the shadows under a dark ocean forever searching for a way into the light to his love nightless night a thomas zane movie alex casey is the detective Barbara Jagger is the writer's widow. 
Ilmari Huatari is the murderer. Ati is the janitor. Thomas Zane is the writer, Alan Wake. And music by Ati and the janitors. Okay. But I do kind of want to get to that save point. So, uh... Oh, none of them are active right now. Wasn't there, like, a, a thing just here where I could get out of the room? No. Those are... Oh, those are up there. I guess I was thinking out of my local theater where you uh, do go down to the very bottom to get out. Oh, in that case... Let's set it back to nothing. And it goes right back to the movie where it was. That's funny. Here we are. But where? No. Here, yeah. There was a circle here. What's up with this? Is there paint on the walls in here? That'd be a hell of a trick. So you can only see when you're pointing the flashlight at it in the room where you point your flashlight at the ground when you walk in. This is nothing. Uh, wait. Well, no, that's not it. Oh, well, I guess we can try and figure that out next time. There we go. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. When we, uh make our way out of this place and head to our date with destiny at Parliament Tower to see how this story ends once and for all. Wish me luck. Take good care of yourselves. Just realized I got that after I saved. And stay in the light.